remember when One Piece wasn't so dark? Like, dang, this chapter of One Piece shit got dark. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, what the fuck? Shit on Zoe was bleak before the straw hat showed up. And Jack is truly a monster. That design we got to see. Honestly, I think he looks a hell of a lot cooler in his normal form than in his, you know, devil fruit form. I mean, he just looks like a monster. He kind of looks like Kaido in a sense. But, like, yeah, I really dig Jack's design. And I'm so glad that it's not just like Morgan because people were saying that he was going to be Captain Morgan. Morgan, or look like Morgan, he looks a lot more badass than Morgan ever looked, and I'm really liking Jack's design right now. So finding out in this chapter that they had a war five days and night, and once again, that just showcases that the minks aren't pushovers, and I'm so glad that it's not just like, oh, they were helpless or whatever, the minks actually went in, and again, honestly, I think if they would have actually teamed up, they would have defeated Jack, or they would have been able to fight him off without having all the monstrosity of shit that was done to them actually happen. I mean, you gotta think about it, realistically, they almost beat him, was because Don was the Defeated, so he went to go rescue Do Flamingo, and if not, you know, he would have still kept fighting. So they actually had a really strong chance against Jack. Imagine if they didn't take those breaks and you know the ship changes or whatever, if they would have just went straight five days and nights, both of them working together, the cat and dog, they, they would have fucked up Jack. I honestly think they would have defeated Jack, which showcases yet again the minks and the people on Zoe are strong ass motherfuckers. They're not pushed over because Jack, that one billion bounty ain't no bullshit, it ain't no joke. So yeah, I think that it's kind of giving us a lesson and it's you know drilling it into our brain in a sense but ultimately teamwork is a lot better than you know being separate or whatever i guess that's one of the big messages throughout all of that and i mean honestly again you know it was the flashback or whatever i think the chapter was better than the last chapter because we got more progression and seemingly you know the flashback is almost over i'm just curious to see what the hell happened to sanji but like you know we got progression with it and we seen that okay jack finally left he used the weapon or whatever and it's like i think i would have enjoyed last week's chapter and this week's chapter slightly more if i didn't know already what was going to happen if i didn't know about caesar's gas being used and whatnot like I think I would have been like oh shit like damn you know so that's what happened you know but instead like I already knew that ultimately it was ended with that so there was no suspense I guess in a way but it didn't really take away from the fact of what Jack was doing like I want to see him in the current timeline I want to see him actually having a brawl because he was torturing motherfuckers we have torture now in one piece fucking cutting off a leg and an arm the dog lost a leg the cat lost an arm like that was savage as fuck and it definitely showcased Jack's character and Kaido's people this ain't no joke this is a new world this is one of the Yonko's people so yeah they're actually savage although to be honest with you I see them as like because based on what we've seen with Kaido I mean granted Kaido is sure a monster and all that other shit but like but when we actually seen Kaido I didn't get the vibe of him just being like this vicious savage of like torturing motherfuckers I got more of a vibe of like he's unhappy I guess or whatever you know with him trying to commit suicide and all that shit or whatever so like I don't know if he trains his people like that and you know Kaido is indeed like that or his people do things on their own accord or something like that because it's like I didn't get that vibe from Kaido that he just loves to torture people and you know do all these things that jack is doing and once again it in a way pushes forward how monstrous kaido is if he's ordering around jack like if jack is some bitch like yo do my light work or whatever that just shows that kaido is out of here and i'm curious what was meant in the end of the chapter when that one mink said the world is waiting on them too those two must not be allowed to die what does that mean what is their relevance and important in the actual world is it because of their bond is it because like one day the world is hoping that they patch things up like what's going on with that are they more important than meets the eye could they have some relevance to some of the great weapons something along the lines of that i'm really curious as to what he meant by that and with all that being said honestly good chapter this week i'm so glad that it was definitely like getting through the flashback for the most probably got to see Sanji yet again which I'm glad about that I just want to know what happened to him ultimately if they were able to fend off the remaining people why did Sanji leave did he immediately see that and leave he was just like fucking you know I'm done with the straw hats I got to turn myself in that would be kind of dark if we go back the route of like Water 7 when Usopp left the straw hats or when Robin was turning herself into the government if Sanji did the same thing I'd be like damn Sanji what the fuck but yeah again I felt this chapter was much better than the last chapter I'm gonna give this one seven and a half out of ten dark as fuck really liking the fact that Jack is a monster his design was cool as shit and I'm just glad we're finally seemingly done with the flashback aside from seeing what happened with Sanji. So yeah, the minks, I feel bad for them. And yeah, you need to learn some teamwork, buddy. Just saying. Let me know what you thought of this chapter. First of all, what was that whole thing in the end of the chapter where they were saying like the world is waiting on them. They must not be allowed to die. What is their relevance in the One Piece world? Also, do you think if they kept fighting, they could have potentially actually take out Jack if he didn't use the poisonous gas and ultimately flee to go rescue Do Flamingo? And yet again, the ongoing question, if this wasn't what happened to Sanji, if Jack didn't defeat Sanji, then what? the hell happened with Sanji. Any overall thoughts? Again, good chapter, really exciting, and very dark. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed anything about this video, make sure to drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. I'm Fanel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.